Hey, this is Travis with Williams Plumbing and Heating. In today's video, we're gonna go through the installation of a humidifier. In the cold, dry months, a humidifier can help your indoor air quality, can help you feel a lot more comfortable. So let's get to it. In this video, you'll see me install a humidifier, which can be fairly simple. We've gotta do some duct work, we're gonna run a water line, and we've gotta do some electrical. So let's go to the site and see how it's done. We've arrived on site so we can take care of this humidifier project. We're gonna put the unit on the ductwork on the return, and then we're gonna duct it over to the supply. So first things first, we gotta cut a hole. Now that we've got our hole cut, we can mount the unit. A couple of pointers here, make sure that it stays nice and level so that when the water drains, it goes down the drain and not out the sides. Second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put some foam backing on around it to keep it a little more airtight. One more. Now that the unit's on and level, we're gonna go ahead and run our duct work from the humidifier to the supply line. I shall talk. So now that we've got our ductwork up and connected, we have to work on the water line. The unit connects here to the solenoid with a quarter inch line. The unit comes with what's called a saddle valve, and these things work. But if you're gonna use it, you have to put it on copper pipe. In this case, the homeowner has PEX pipe, and we're not gonna use these things on PEX pipe. So we're gonna run it a little bit differently, and we're gonna connect it over here to the hot water line. So right here, I went upstairs and turned off the water but I forgot to drain the pressure at the sink. So when I cut the line, I got drenched. I'm not dying of sweat, but I am covered in water. After turning off the water and draining all of the pressure, we're gonna hook up the water line to a hot water line, and then we're gonna run it to the humidifier. Again, we're not gonna use the saddle valve or a piercing valve on a PEX line because it will leak. And we're gonna use a hot water line because it's gonna make the humidifier work a lot better than a cold water line. So let's get that hooked up. Okay, we've got our supply line connected and now we've gotta do the drain which is gonna connect over here to the furnace condensate pump to get rid of the excess water. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the electrical. It's a very simple circuit, and the humidifier is gonna come with the transformer. In this case, we're gonna wire the high voltage off the control board and the EAC so that when the fan turns on, it'll power up our humidifier. There are options for controlling it, and in this case, the unit comes with a humidistat, but we're not gonna use this humidistat. If you need to use it, it'll be wired into here as well, and you can look on the instructions to see how that's done. It's not super difficult, but you will need to follow the directions to make sure that you do it right. So we're gonna go ahead and hook up the high voltage to this, and then we're gonna power the solenoid with the customer's thermostat. I just wanna take a minute to talk about the electrical wiring because even though I said it's simple, it can be a bit frustrating. 
But if you look in the instruction manual, you'll find some pretty good diagrams on how to do the wiring. In this case, the customer's thermostat has the ability to control humidity. If your thermostat can't do that, then you'll have to install the supplied humidistat. As you can see from our install manual, Figure K gives us a really good breakdown on how to do the wiring. You'll need to install the transformer to a 120 volt power source and then connect the wires to the digital humidistat controller and to the furnace. All of the thermostat wires are going to stay the same except for the green wire which controls the fan. If your humidifier kit comes with an outdoor temperature sensor, it's a good idea to install that because it will help control the humidity a little more accurately. All right, we've got our ductwork done. We've got our water lines in and out and our electrical. Now all we gotta do is put the unit back together. We're gonna put the water line through the hole until it hits the stopper. That's how you know that you've got it in the right direction. We'll pop that together, put the cover on, and then we're ready to test the unit. Just make sure that you switch it from summer to winter and we're ready to go. Okay, we've got the humidifier installed and we went upstairs and told the thermostat that it has a humidifier and went and turned it on. As you can see, it's running. It's doing what it's supposed to do. Installing this wasn't too difficult. If you think that you can do it, I think that you can as well. If not, go ahead and give us a call and we can help you install your humidifier. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and check our channel for more helpful videos.